and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I am Infinity Parks, and today is the next part of Rebels Month with um, Ezra Bridger. And we'll even look at the Cantankerous Clanker, which is the chopper event that's going on. So, okay. Well, let's get started after. Oh, thank you. Um, so let's get started. So we're five down and one more to go, and the last one is Sabine. And then the ones after this one are going to be unlocking the Ghost and Phantom 2. So let's get the Rebels team formulated. So let's get Kanan, Hera, and Zeb, and Chopper. Because it's not enough, so we gotta go add someone else. Let's add, eh, I just got K2SO to purple gear, so we're good. So let's use him. Let's use him. Ezra's basic rushing strike has attack a chance to attack a second time. Oh, I didn't counter it though. So let's slow it down. Let's do it on the training droid. What is it? And let's do charging on the main training droid. Attack Zeb with his, Kanan with his, and everybody got counter attack. Yeah. But they only got a small amount of counter attack. But they all have counter attack. chance to attack again. So yeah, it's going to be really small at the moment. But later on it won't be. Now he's in Ezra's ability to beat cannon jars in his training door. Oh, so he's fighting him by himself. Oh my goodness. What does this do? Watch and learn. Target allies. And then uh, Ezra's Alright. 
finally kind of will be a training, solo training between Ezra and Kanan. Flourish with the spell up of on target enemy. Um, let's go do. Yeah, why not? A clone team. So we got Rex, Echo, Cody, five at the very top, and then the clone sergeant. This is gonna be fun. Still at 20%, I think he does, because all of his skills are level 1. Again, as we are becoming too powerful, the Sith Holocron resides in him. Oh wow, he only all you just one start because <laughs> everybody dies. Um, yeah, I wasn't quite done with the clones, and the clones are pretty powerful. I wasn't even using like their most powerful abilities. I was just using basics. So we'll do it. Uh, another clone team. And I'll show you the Cody one, which is the most epic um, thingy. EMP grenade. Um, whenever Cody comes up, um, there's Rex's. Five's attack. And here we go. Ready? Set. Go. There it is. That's Cody's attack. Than he is. 
Okay, we just won again. One star. It's inevitable to one star. And now the final thing is when we use the Jedi. Okay. Because there's Phoenix passive pass through, it gives stacking offense buffs. Push through as it gains 10% offense in the end of his turn. This effect can stack up to 40%. And I think I read in the font in a, the thing that it goes up to 90%. I don't know. Oh, uh, we'll check once we unlock him. again oh wait um attackers gain a 100% quit chance for this attack tanks get 40% protection up for 2 turns and support gain 40% turn gain so let's do that against the tank this one do This last one, more salvage droids? Yeah. Okay. Let's give heal up. And let's just do it just because. Why not? Yep. Dead. The cough is gonna fall a second. They still aren't even ranked up yet. I know East Cough is level 85, but Blue Queen is only 81. Personally, I can't wait for the Sabine event. Um, it seems like you get to fight a TIE fighter. Even though it's like a parked one, but still, it's like an enemy as a TIE fighter. Yep, he's dead. Oh, well, everybody's gonna die anyway. Oh, 
is if he's suff not suffering any debuffs, his attack chance is doubled, so now he's suffering a debuff. Okay. So that was 40%. There you go. Ezra B. Kanan again. And now we have 65 out of 25. So we can get them up to 3 stars. And we all one star these. <laughs> it's funny. Activate Ezra Bridger. But I won't do it by that way. I go through my characters. So yeah, see, Plocoon's only 81. And Eeth Cost is 85. Well, Luminar is only 80, but she's a high level character. Like a better than Plocoon, because Plocoon's are such a low character. Nobody uses them. Um, there's K2SO on the left. Yep, finally unlocked him. Um, Director Krennic is four stars. Death Trooper is still two stars. There's Ezra. And I'm so close to getting Jin. Um, Chirrut. And the last Rebels character we need is Sabine, but they might do the Inquisitors and Grand Admiral Thrawn and Kallus. If Kallus will be a Empire character. Probably not, because it's Season 3. So yeah, there it is. Ezra Bridger. Rushing Strike. 20% chance to attack again, but if we go here and click on that, it can go up to 40%. Oh, 40%. Okay. 40% chance to attack again. If Ezra is, has no buff debuffs, his chance is double, so it's 80. Flourish. It's 50% turn meter, it just adds damage. Um, watch and learn. 20% more damage. There. So attackers gain a 100% crit chance. Crit. Um, tanks gain protection up 40% for two turns. Sport gain 40% turn meter. Push through. Uh, goes up to 40%. Ezra gains 10% offense at the end of his turn. His factor stacks up to 40%. His bonus is, is reset when Ezra is defeated. Oh. And let's promote him to three stars. So yeah, 270. And I think, yeah, I do. So let's go into the max level we can bring him to right now. 34. And let's start equipping gear on him. to get him at least at um, four. I know Hera is like one year away from purple, which is purple as the protection, the thing on top of the hill. Okay. Things are slowing down majorly. So yeah, we just need Sabine left, and people do not like the character design of Sabine. Even though kind of that's what she would look like in live action. 
if they did a live action. My goodness, things are really slow right now. takes this long. trooper right now we're almost there just 10 shards away sure we're almost there I'm hoping to have the two rogue one characters we can get Jen and Chirrut by the time um, rogue, rogue one comes out on DVD which is Tuesday and today is Thursday so if Jen and Chirrut show more often now then we might be able to lock them. I'm a little more than halfway on Jin, like five or five past halfway, and Chirrut, I'm like, yeah, 10 or oh, like 15 shards away from unlocking him. And he shows in the fleet shipments. And I usually get a lot of fleet ship, um, fleet coins, tokens, like, yeah, he always shows in the Tuscan Shaman spot. But I've been farming dark side ships. I'm, yeah. So I can get the Omega Mats. I mean, not Omega Zeta. So I can get Qui Gon's ability maxed out. So, like that. Uh, on the, he currently has uh, the Jedi allies have 25 speed, but once you get the Zeta, it becomes a paragraph. So they get 30 speed now, gain offense equal to three times their speed, and gain foresight for two turns at the start of each encounter and whenever an a unit is defeated. So, foresight is basically dodging an attack, like a free evade, but it only lasts one turn, oh, yeah, one turn, but it means by two turns if, like, somebody doesn't attack them, and whenever someone is defeated at the start of each encounter, so, like, if I take out someone, they will get it back. So that will be probably the first data I get because he's my leader in uh, arena. 
And then the next one will be Darth Maul, which Dancing Shadows. So right now, Sizzle has gained 20% evasion and gained 20% turn leader whenever they evade or are critically hit. And then with the Zeta, they became um, thing, uh, the 20 evasion, gained 20 turn meter, and stealth for one turn at the start of each encounter. And whenever they evade and are critically hit, they can't be critically hit while stealth and gain a advantage for two turns. Which I think advantage is automatic crit. Yeah. Uh, advantage for sh two turns whenever stealth expires. Stealth and turn meter from this ability ignores taunting allies. So yeah. And you need 20. Abilities eight events. I have, I think, yeah, I have above normal amount of uh, omegas, but I'm always low on ability mark threes. That's because I'm always upgrading them. But once I start getting enough zetas, I'll start saving up on ability mark materials, mark three. Got like more seven star characters. Oh, that's Vina. Darth Vader's now at six stars, and he's almost at seven, so I'm excited for that. Maxed out Darth Vader. Um, yeah, Jedi Counselor's now maxed. I saw his ventures is maxed, and I just wasn't really working on. I'm not really working on her right now. She was just the next character in line to get to seven stars in the arena shipments. They just put Cassian Andor in, but I had Cassian already. Mace Windu's done. Grandma Tarkin's almost done. He's like 100 away. I'm just like, yeah. Jeep Nevit. Greedo. Savage Ventures was next. Savage Repress I'm working on right now. Actually, no. I'm working on Stormtrooper Han right now. So I can get uh, Emperor Palpatine to 6 stars. New Gunner is done. Dark Cities is done. Eth cost done. IG 88's um course on Underworld Police. Uh Admiral Akbar Akbar, who I might work on next. HK forty seven, Savage Repress, Greedo, Ugnot, and yeah. Almost done with him. These I'm slowly working on. I'm just mostly getting ships. So I need to get the TIE Fighter. Oh, I actually get it right now. There you go. So, almost five stars on TIE Fighter. And you need to get to five stars to start unlocking abilities item mats. So, to unlock these, you need a uh, eight non-capital ships. So I'm working on... Um, yeah, Republic ships as well, good light side ships. I'll show you. I, right now I have one ship at five stars, and that's Star's Mall ship. So I need to start working on other ships. I'm working on Geon Ocean Soldier, um, Imperial TIE Fighter. I should probably start working on the top ships like the Jedi Council Starfighter and Clone Sergeant and Rex and Tide Advance is going to be hard because you can't get them anymore. I mean, yeah, no locations found. Um, I know they'll release Cassian's U Wing soon, and I only need Jin left, and now I can get her and get it. So, yeah, that would be a cool ship to have. And um, also, the Rebels character ships are going to come out soon. So maybe they'll be helping. So, yeah. Um, so you need five stars, higher ships, executrix, and eight non capital ships. And 
Oh wait, I think I already have executions at the light level. Yeah. So yeah. I think I already do have it. Maybe. So let's just do a quick ship battle so I can show you what that looks like. Let's see, Darth Vader lead. Darth Vader. There's no leader on this thing, it's basically by cavil ship. And we're stuck with uh, Grand Motarkin. It was a good capital ship for like, Empire characters. Which there's only like two of them right now. Or three. But I only own two. Do the dark mall. Do the generation shifts because why not? Capital ship attack. There were ships. Yep. Mm, basically, I had a stalemate in ships. I can't progress any further until I get the ships to um, ranked up. But it's really cool because I'm actually working on certain ships. Just getting them maxed out, like uh, Scimitar here of Darth Maul, and soon it will be Genos and Soldier. As you can see, it's slowly getting there. Slave one, I guess, as well too. And big, I mean Wedge, Bigs might be next as well. And I only need uh, how many ships? I don't think I have to do the Grand Maul Tarkin thing anymore. I think I already have it at the level it has to be. Yeah, that would be six stars. I don't need to get to six stars, I need to get to five stars. Yeah, it says Grand Maul Tarkin's good. It's just the blue means it's good, red means it's bad. It's not ready yet. So I have two, so I have the capital ship, which is required, and the scimitar. Now it's just the rest. And I need eight ships. Okay. So uh, yeah, that is the Ezra event plus some other things like ships. I know they'll be adding the rebel ships soon. And as you can see, everybody's unlocking Ezra Bridger. You can see my name's at the bottom. is the Ezra event and we'll be back in in about six days ish for the Sabine event oh wait um <laughs> I keep forgetting about that I thought we there 
we'll just do this real quick. It's really short. Canaan and Ezra. Here we got mostly everybody. how short it is. Mm -hmm. hmm. Everybody counterattacked. <laughs> Except for Zeb. That's how quick it is. And now the last one is is the fun one. So how many more do we need? Six. I think we get him tomorrow. Two, seven, six, uh, three stars. Just throw in Darth Nihilus just because he can use his Annihilate after eight turns. And that'll be fun. Because I know all these people barely like hit. Just trying to stall until Darth Nihilus uses his Annihilate ability. Which is good because he gains his cooldown goes down every time that they get a debuff. So we're five away now. I think K2 might be done by the time we get to that. Let's see if. All the rebels plus Darth Nihilus defeating K2SO. So that is the final thing that I have to show you right now. But we'll be back in about six days for the Sabine event. So this is Infinity Parks. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more.